am I at least partially responsible for the success of the Mindy Project? Yes. Yes, I think I am. What's my link to the show? Well, you might think it's as simple as Mindy Kaling and I both being half Bengali and pretending to be doctors, but I can do better than that. I used to run a newspaper at medical school. Fun etymology fact for the Generation Zers watching, the paper in newspaper actually comes from the fact that newspapers used to be printed on real paper. We delivered it every month in my trusty Nissan Micra. We had to put the stacks of newspapers in the back seat because my entire boot was taken up with a homemade subwoofer. Yes, I was a baller from day one, baby. We were actually pretty good. We won the National Student Journalism Award for Best Small Budget Publication. And as the editor, this brought with it a placement at the Daily Mirror newspaper. Although I never actually turned up. Well, let me tell you something, kid. You're no hero. Then I graduated and I started writing about my experiences as a new doctor in a sort of silly monthly column and found myself nominated for a few Guardian Journalism Awards. And this brought with it a placement at the Guardian newspaper. But I, I didn't turn up to that either. You are a criminal, a miscreant. A masked marauder! A menace! Anyway, the reason I mention all this is because that's how I was approached by a TV production company called 2020 about a project they were doing with Channel 4. The Insiders was an online series that they were planning, profiling six people doing jobs that kids might be interested in pursuing. So there was a fashion assistant, a policeman, a teacher, an actress, a musician, and me, a doctor. And they got members of each profession uh, to anonymously blog their experiences for a few months. And then these would be turned into some sort of interlocking script with each of us interacting with each other in some way. They wanted a warts and all depiction of my experiences on the front line of the National Health Service, long before any best-selling diaries. Each person was to be portrayed using a different medium. Now, all of the others were animated, but the doctor was to be played by an actual actor. So after I sent off my work, I didn't really think about the project for the best part of a year before finally it went live online. Now, back in those days, there was a pretty new up and coming video sharing website that you might be familiar with. Yeah, it didn't go on YouTube. It went on MySpace, freaking MySpace. I'm pretty sure MySpace was already dying when this happened. I had quite a revelation when I was preparing this video in that MySpace still actually exists. But no matter what I try, unfortunately, I just can't find the videos. <laughs> They consisted of a sarcastic British doctor wearing a surgical mask, telling stupid stories and talking general rubbish. Sound like anybody you know? And it was shot in a kind of medical stockroom with syringes and bottles all around. My mum's first comment was, how nice they've chosen someone who looks just like you. And I'm like, mum, his entire face is covered. And she's like, no, no, I can tell. Thanks, mum. It was a fun little project and my first brush with writing for television, even though it wasn't actually on television. Flash forward a few years and I hear about this hot new TV show about doctors. And as a medical TV aficionado, I made sure to tune in, especially because it was led by the very funny and talented Mindy Kaling. So I'm laughing away, enjoying myself when this British doctor pops up called Jeremy. And my first reaction was, damn, that guy's handsome. But then when he started speaking, I thought, oh my God, he sounds so familiar, but I just I couldn't place him. And it took me most of the first episode before I finally realized the penny dropped and I was like, hey, that's me. I mean, that's a dude pretending to be a dude. And I was kind of that dude. Yes, Ed Weeks, AKA Jeremy, was the same actor in a surgical mask reading the lines that I had written for that Channel 4 series years earlier. What? <laughs> A couple of years ago, I realized that Twitter is a thing that exists. And so I could just ask Ed directly to make sure this wasn't all some crazy fever dream. Hi, Ed. Many years ago, did you make a Channel 4 slash 2020 internet miniseries called The Insiders, where you played a misanthropic A&E doctor? 
filmed in a kind of stockroom, wearing a face mask and ranting about Jimmy Carr. Why, yes. And then I said to Ed, Ed, I said, Ed, do you think your time playing a British doctor prepared you for your Mindy Project audition? And my writing effectively made you a doctor and imbued within you a passion for medicine that not only guaranteed you the role, but ensured that the show ran for six series and won a bunch of awards. No response. So I guess I'm able to answer the age old dinner party question of who would play you in a movie of your life. And I know what you're thinking, don't flatter yourself, Francis, but look, if they can do this to P.T. Barnum, then I shotgun Ed and his chisel jaw to play me. And that's my tenuous link to the Mindy Project. Ed, if you're watching this, then I wish you success in all you do, and just know you've got a lifelong fan back home in the UK. So much so that I even watched LA to Vegas just for you, even though, let's be real, it wasn't very good.